Hey, everybody. Good evening. It is Dr. Dietrich Gorman, and thank you very much for joining me. Um, this is another episode of Relax Well with Dr. Dietrich, and I'm very happy that y'all can be here tonight. And if you get a chance, please share this live stream. Uh, tag folks to come join now because we're going to have another great episode of Relax Well with Dr. Dietrich. So tonight I want to talk to y'all about being mindful or mindful. Okay, you need to choose. All right, so we're going to see who's going to be joining us tonight, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. Great, I see that I'm on. And again, this is Dr. Dietrich Gorman. I'm America's Relaxation Doctor. And you can find this Relax Well with Dr. Dietrich every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to be talking about different relaxation issues, dealing with stress, fun things, you know, just a whole bunch of different things. So please um, stay tuned and join me. So mindful. Literally, what is mindful? Okay. F-U-L-L. Literally. It's filling your mind with a bunch of stuff, right? Hey, Kasali. Hey, Sonia. Nice to see you. So being mindful, F-U-L-L, -L, is literally filling your mind with a bunch of stuff. So what can actually happen if your mind is full? It's unorganized, right? It's chaotic. It's not productive. Um, maybe even anxious. Maybe even overwhelmed. It is definitely stressful, right? And Personally, I know I've been there many times. I've definitely been there. And it's really not the best mental state to be in. I mean, you can totally be a mess, right? And I mean, it's that constant worry, that constant stress on what you need to do or what you could have done. That's having your mind full versus living in the present or being mindful, okay? So what does it mean to be mindful? It means being more aware of your thoughts, being more aware of your actions, and being more aware of your emotions. It, it's literally like paying attention to your present state of being, okay? You're living in the present. And while sometimes, definitely with everything that is going on out there and everything you need to do and get done, and, you know, it can no doubt be a challenge. And again, I've definitely been there. But tonight, I wanted to share with y'all five suggestions on how you can be more mindful and not mindful. OK, I hope I can understand the, the different subtleties on how I'm, uh, pr I'm pronouncing these uh, two very, very different uh, terms or words. So the first way is to start each day off with intention, meaning when you wake up in the morning, of course, not only be thankful and grateful for that, but also say to yourself today, I want to accomplish this. OK, um, make it so that you don't, you know, find yourself being overwhelmed. So today I want to do this. OK, you're, you're putting your intention out there. You're, you're saying this is what's going to happen today. This is what's, how it is. OK, on the same lines, though, the second thing is to actually write down your top three priorities for that day. And this way you are able to prioritize your actions and getting things done or accomplished. And you're being more mindful of what it's going to take to accomplish these tasks or these daily goals. The third way is to actually red redirect yourself um, as often as it takes. So when your mind starts to wander off, and believe you me, it will, it definitely does because that's what minds do, let's take the time and talk to yourself and redirect yourself to go back to that task at hand. And um, by the way, as much of a challenge as it may be, it's best to try and do one thing at a time and try not to multitask. I know that's definitely a challenge for me as well. Um, but when you do, you wanna try to eliminate some distractions so that you can focus on that one individual task. Okay, and the, the fourth thing is to, when you're, think about this, when you're in the moment, be in the moment, okay? So for example, this is just an example I'm throwing out there, breakfast time or lunch time. Say you have 15 minutes uh, to eat breakfast or lunch, and then when you do, I want you to just be there at, at that particular point in time. Think about what you're eating, what does the food taste like, enjoy the flavors, um, think about how it's nourishing your body, um, how it's going to help you get through your day and improve your day and nourish your cells. It, this is just an example, but be present in that moment. Enjoy that meal for what it is at that point in time. And just 
whatever moment you are in, just try and cherish it and be in that particular moment and try not to think of what could have been or what you need to do. Try and live in that moment. Um, the fifth way is actually to take up journaling. And again, there's many, many different ways to practice more mindfulness, but these are the top five that I you know, wanted to share with you all tonight. The fifth thing is to actually take up journaling. And you may be asking, what do you mean take up journaling? What does that have to do with being mindful? But the reason is actually is when you're journaling, you're basically forced to slow down, pay attention to your world, okay? What's happening in it. Um, you can imagine what's going on now, how you're, how you're feeling, um, what you're doing. Um, the best thing is, is that you can go back and reflect upon that, okay? So like I said, please, please keep in mind, this is a little bit of a short live stream, but it's very important. Keep in mind there's definitely many more ways for you to be more mindful and practice mindfulness. And I definitely encourage you to find out ways that are suitable for you um, to help you live more in the present state of mind versus in the past or in the future. And you wanna be active, an uh, active participant in your present, okay? So, I mean, that's about it for now. I don't know if there's any questions out there. I thank y'all for who, who is joining me. And thank you very much, uh, Sonia, for sharing. Uh, nice to see you. And um, I want y'all to please uh, keep the date November 11th in mind. And that's when I'm going to have my official launch for my reflective journal. Here it is. In the tradition of my relaxed uh, book series, this is called Grateful and Ready. It's a reflective journal to fill your soul. And actually in it, you'll be able to use this journal as a source of self-reflection, self-appreciation, gratefulness about your thoughts, your feelings, your interactions, not only with yourself, but others. And you can actually pick up a copy now at gratefulandreadyjournal.com. Uh, and that's actually in the title of this live stream. Um, I think that's about it. So I am Dr. Dietrich Gorman. Um, I'm America's relaxation doctor. I'm a speaker, a blogger, a best-selling author. And I actually help individuals maneuver through life stressful situations at work and home by learning ways to incorporate relaxation. And um, just remember this, um, I want y'all to think about what you're doing every day. OK, remember, you can live in the past, you can live in the future, but to actually be mindful is to live in the present. So thank you all very much for tuning in. And remember, until next time, relax well. OK, bye.